Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is about insert, update, delete and drop statements. And this is part 8 of Proc SQL series. Now let us start with insert statement. There are various styles of writing insert statements, but all of them have one thing in common, that is insert into table name. Let's look into the first one. To do that, first let's create an empty table. This empty table is ABC and it has two columns, name and age. Name is a character variable, age is numeric variable. And here we are inserting into ABC, the data set ABC. And here we are giving values clause and we are inserting John and 40. So one thing always to remember is whenever we are doing SQL, the insert or whatever the operations we do depends upon the position. What do I mean by that? Here, the first variable is name. So John, which is in quotes, gets inserted in this variable and 40 gets inserted into this variable. And here, once the values are inserted you can quickly see the results by doing select star from abc and this is the result we see here values clause is used to insert independent or single values generally this is not a preferred way of inserting rows because whenever we want to insert we have to again insert a new value again insert a new value most of the time we do inserts from other table that's what we are going to look into the next slide here again we have two data sets ckg which has two variables call1 which is a character variable call2 which is a numeric variable and it already has johnson and 15 as its data and we have another data set ckf and it has call10 and which is a character variable and called to and it has values mother and 19 now if i want to insert into ckg from ckf ckg table is known as target table ckf from which we are entering the data into ckg is known as our source table again we want to insert into ckg from ckf and it is pretty straightforward again for every insert we need to write insert into that particular data set name so insert into ckg and select star from ckf this inserts one row from ckf into ckg and here i want to mention couple of points here whenever we do insert we will see in the log also saying that one row was inserted and also i want to mention one important thing here that is call 10 value is inserted into call 1 call 2 value is inserted into call 2 as i said to you earlier everything in sql is dependent on positions not the variable names generally if we see in data step or proc append it is all about variable names but in sql it's all about position now that we have entered one row from ckf into ckg we can proc print the data of ckg and you can see the result in here that it shows that one row is also inserted now we have two rows one initial row and then one inserted row even though insert statement look very simple i want to mention one important thing in here now we are looking into a different example where we have data test with call 1 and call 2 call 1 is a character variable call 2 is a numeric variable and here we are having another data set test 1 here the important thing to remember is call 10 is dollar 15 which means the length is 15 whereas in the call 1 the length is 8 an input statement whenever we don't mention the length for character variable it defaults to 8 so here the call 1 length is 8 and call 10 length is 15 and here also you can see that the variable length is much longer than 8 
so when we do insert into test from test 1 where test 1 the variable length is longer we see something different we get a message or warning in the log saying that character expression will be truncated when assigned to character column call 1 indirectly it is saying that whenever we are trying to insert row from test 1 into test we are going to have a truncation now if we see that after our proc sql insert into test select star from test 1 after the insert is done if we see the result by using proc print we can see that our variable madan rao chant has been truncated and it doesn't have the complete name so whenever we are doing insert one important thing to always remember is we should be very careful of lengths and whenever our source table has a longer length truncation will happen so data gets inserted but truncation will happen so we have to be careful in this kind of scenario when the source table has longer length now let's talk about another scenario here again we have two data sets here we have data half in which we have three variables whereas in the case of data half one we have two variables and if you see here when we try to insert from our source table into target table we get error message saying that our target table has more columns than our source table and this is because this call 1 and call 1 matches this call 2 and call 2 matches but as we do not have call 3 we just cannot simply have the same syntax what we previously had we need to modify our code little bit here we need to say proc sql insert into have and we need to mention the column names we need to say call 1 comma call 2 and select star from have so what we are directly telling is here we have call 1 and call 2 this call 1 data will enter into call 1 and call 2 data will enter into call 2 as we are not mentioning call 3 call 3 will have a missing value as shown in here and this is not the only way of inserting there is another style which we can be done that is insert into half now we are doing select call 1 call 2 and null or missing as call 3 from have 1 and then here what we are doing is call 1 of have 1 goes into call 1 of have call 2 goes into call 2 and here call 3 we are inserting the missing value the whole idea here is to map variables of have to have 1 and positions should match and they should be always same here there are two variables we are mentioning and when we are doing select star here also we are having two then it works out when here it has three variables we are making sure that we have three variables in select how many ever variables we are mentioning in our insert same number of variables we should also have from our select and when we do proc print it shows the inserts of this particular instance and also this particular instance and you can see in the result in here now let's also quickly look into what happens when we insert with the fewer columns in target table here again this is another example in here we have a data set in which we have only two variables call 1 and call 2 but our source has three variables so in this kind of scenarios when we have fewer columns in target table we just can't use the simple syntax of select star and if you are going to do that we are going to get an error saying that our target table has fewer columns than our source table so to adjust to this what we need to do is we need to write insert into test that is our target table and instead of doing select star we can just use call 1 and call 2 
so the call one value goes into call one value of test and call two value of test one goes into call two value of test and after the insert we can do a proc print and we can see that the particular observation or row is inserted one important point here i wanted to mention which i have not earlier discussed is apart from matching of the positions one more thing is also very important say here call one and call one if you see they both are character variables so when you are inserting the matching columns by the position should also be of same data type now i would like to discuss one more aspect of insert for example here we have a data set or here we are creating a data set wherein we are having an integrity constraint then that integrity constraint is not null so we have name age two variables in new underscore test data set but for name we have not null integrity constraint we cannot insert null values when we have not null integrity constraint and if we try to insert null value into a variable which has not null integrity constraint it's going to give us error and the error will be something like this saying that the add or update has been failed and it does not comply with integrity constraint now let us look into another statement that is a delete statement to understand this delete statement we are creating a new data set cars from sas help dot cars delete is exactly opposite to what we talked about insert and here we want to delete all the records in a table we can just say delete from and the data set from which we want to delete records this will delete all the records in the table and also in the log it will tell how many records have been deleted but in case if you want to delete only those records which belong to a particular category we can use a filter something like this wherein we are saying delete from cars where make equal to akura means we want to delete those records only where the make variable has the value of akura so it will delete those records only and not only this we can delete records from one table based of another table i don't have any code to show in here but that is also another possibility now let us look into drop statement drop statement is little different here we are going to drop the table what is the difference between delete and drop delete means we are deleting records in a table still that table will be there drop means we are totally dropping the table the table will be no longer available now let's look into update statement to understand update statement also let's try to create the cars data set from sas help dot cars update statement is generally used to update values in a data set and the syntax is pretty simple here we are saying update and then we are mentioning the table name followed by set the set statement which we are using there we are going to give our variable or variable names to which we want to assign a value here i am saying set type equal to suvs so what i am saying is update cars and for the type variable change all of the variable to suvs so what this will do is in our cars data set the type variable will have suvs as the value now here we are updating all the values but we don't have to do that way we can only update those values in which we are interested that again we can do by adding a where clause after update and set here we are saying update car set type equal to suvs where type equal to suv what we are saying here is please change the variable value of type to suvs 
when type equal to SUV. Whenever the type is equal to SUV, then only the values change or values are updated. Unlike the upper code or query which I am shown, wherein all the values of this particular variable are changed. And here, these are simple update statements. Now let us look into update statement where it requires more than one table. And in here to understand this, let us look into two data sets. And these data sets are known as master and transact underscore file. And both of them has ID and name variables. And in here, the goal is to update the name variable values in transact files and we want to update these values whenever the IDs match in both the tables and we want to pick up the name variable value from this data set that is master. So we are updating transact underscore file and the variable which we want to update is name. Now let us see how we can code this. Here I am saying proc sql I'm saying update transact underscore file as G. And as I want to update the variable name, I'm saying set name equal to. And I'm saying select name from master as M where G dot ID equal to M dot ID. So what I'm saying here is whenever the IDs match, please pick up the name variable value from master and update the variable of name for the transact underscore file. So what this does is whenever the IDs are one and one, this ith and t are updated with Smith because the IDs match. This kind of code is known as subquery and I have discussed in subqueries in detail in one of the videos and the link for the same I will give in the description below. And once I proc print this transact underscore file, we can see that the ID one and one, the values ith and t are updated to Smith and Smith. And that's all for this topic. And if you like this topic, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe and thank you.